Reporting live, this is David from Jane Equipment and today we're going to talk about the Stealth Dual Pressure Washer Kit. What this does is it's going to combine two four gallon a minute pressure washers to create an eight gallon a minute flow. But before we hook this all up, there are a few tests that you're going to want to do to make sure you're getting the adequate flow to properly run this setup without causing any damage to your pumps. So what we want to double check using a five gallon bucket is that each of the garden hoses we're using are able to fill up this bucket in one minute or at least 80% of the bucket since these are five gallon buckets and we need at least four gallons in each minute. Um, when you run this test, you do want to do it concurrent with both hoses at the same time, even if they're hooked up at two different bibs, because they can kind of affect each other. So it's important we do this more or less at the exact same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my timer on my phone to time one minute and we're going to see how much water we can get in these buckets. We're hoping to get them both full in this test. For whatever reason, if you're not able to get the correct flow out of garden hoses, alternatively, you can use a tank setup to also run the Stealth dual pressure washer kit. So we're going to start the test. Three, two, one, go. So I'm about at 30 seconds and my orange one is already full and it's about to spill over. This one's about halfway full. I could pretty much already tell that these are definitely going to create enough flow. Got five gallons here in 40 seconds. I'm already at four gallons on this one. I have 15 more seconds. We do want to do the full test. We're at 10 seconds left. Five, four, Three, two, one. We can cut the water off. And as you can see, both my buckets are full. In reality, I probably got 11 gallons out during that one minute. So I know my current hose setup is going to be acceptable to run both of these at the same time. And that's how we're going to perform the bucket test. Okay. Now that we've got our bucket test out of the way, we are going to be hooking up our Stealth dual pressure washer kit. This is a fairly simple part. It's really just a T with two jump hoses, two high pressure check valves, and fittings. Uh, so I'm not going to pretend like this is a complicated piece of equipment. It's really not. Honestly, the, the hardest part to find and where everyone struggles is if you don't put these directional check valves, it's going to create a ton of turbulence in your line. And with the turbulence in the line, it's going to throw everything off. So having two high pressure check valves is very important when you build something like this. Um, or if you're picking it up from our store, janeequipment.com, we'll have it pre-assembled the right way for you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hook these up to the pressure washer now. One thing I definitely want to touch on is it is no mistake that I'm running two identical pressure washers. What does that mean? I have two Honda GX390 engines with two Honda Easy or Hon General Easy 4040 pumps rather. And I'm also running it with two identical unloaders, which on this setup is the VRT3 310 Easy unloader. If you have two setups that aren't the exact same, you're going to want to make sure they're running as close to identical as possible before shooting this video. I individually set the pressure on each of these to make sure it was running at exactly 3500 RPM when I'm pull, or 3500 PSI when I'm pulling the trigger and when I release my trigger they will each spike to 4000 but their working pressure was set to 35 before we started doing this because we want to make sure at a baseline both units are running identically. Once we have that set up we're just going to take our two quick connect socket ends Hook them up there. Then we have our single outlet. I'm going to go ahead and put a pressure gauge here um, because I do want to verify our pressure. 
So I am expecting to get the exact same result when I put them together. It should still run at 3500 PSI while I'm on my trigger. When I release my trigger, it should be at 4000 PSI. So that's gonna be the plan. We've got it all hooked up. We've got our gauge. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my hose. And I'm not using the same tips that I was running with these machines. These machines are four gallons a minute. The tips that came with these machines are four gallon a minute tips. Once I put this all together, I need an eight gallon a minute tip because I am combining the flow. So I am using an eight gallon per minute tip when I do this and not the four gallon a minute tip that the machines came with. Now that we've all got it set up, we're gonna go ahead and get the water going and run it so you guys could see this thing in action and I could show you that we are gonna get the exact pressure we believe we are even though we're combining the water flow. Okay, now that we have everything hooked up, we've got our water going, we got our eight gallon a minute tip in our pressure washer gun. We're gonna go ahead and fire these up to make sure our pressure is exactly where it should be. So let's get these things going. And that is how we run our Stealth dual pressure washer kit. As you could see, we were leaching max pressure with our eight gallon a minute tip. And um, the only way we were able to reach that pressure while using those tips is because we are getting a full eight gallon a minute flow. If our flow was not eight gallons a minute, there's no way we would have reached that pressure. So this is just, uh, showing you how this is completely possible. I've created an eight gallon a minute flow. There is tremendous cleaning power, tremendous cleaning power out of two four gallon a minute units. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on janeequipment.com or any of our social media platforms.